I'm in no doubt that my two deployments to Afghanistan changed the direction of my life. There is very little that can truly prepare you for the reality of war. The experiences can be stark and long-lasting. Returning to the UK after my first deployment, I shared the flight home with three critically injured British soldiers, all in, in induced comas and the body of a Danish soldier killed in action. It hit me then that this flight was one of many, carrying home men and women whose lives would be changed forever and some who had made the ultimate sacrifice. From that moment, I knew I had the, uh, the responsibility to help all veterans who had made huge personal sacrifices for their countries to lead healthy and dignified lives after service. So thank you for everything that you have done. I joined the army in 2005. Men and women who had not only adjusted to life, but embraced it, proving that what can be achieved post-injury rather than focusing on what cannot. The Invictus Games seeks to change perceptions of physical and mental injury. One thing we have to talk about more is breaking down these barriers around so-called invisible injuries like post-traumatic stress, just as we have for physical injuries like the loss of a limb. This is a topic I know the First Lady and Dr. Biden are working hard to highlight so that people are no longer afraid to ask for help. This fear of coming forward as a result of the stigma which surrounds mental health is one of the greatest challenges that veterans face today. People from all walks of life struggle with issues like post-traumatic stress, anxiety, and depression, not just veterans. We have to help them all to get the support that they need without fear of being judged or discriminated against. Not only is it okay to talk about it, we have to talk about it. From the Army, Michael Brown. Bulldogs with the basketball. Blake off the glass. Knocked away, and we've got a steal. 